play a game called WWE Champions, which of all things you can believe it, is a WWE game that plays like Candy Crush. It's basically just moving gems around and breaking colored gems. I have not played any major mobile game in over two years, okay? Truth, right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Line, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with... This is day, what, 12 of DSP not caring about LTG? I don't care about LTG, I'm not bringing it up. Until, well, let's watch. I don't, here's the thing, I don't understand why it's a big deal. Even if he loses, who cares? No one thinks of LTG or DSP as good Street Fighter players, you understand that? No one. Literally no one looks at us and says, Really, mister? I'm the best in America. I finished fourth at EVA. I was the number one American. Really, mister? I am marching my way to Diamond because I'm just that good. Now I'm going to march my way to Master because I'm just that good. Now I'm going to go to Master Plus. I don't know if Master Plus is this thing, but I'm sure he'd be bragging about if he ever hit Master Plus or whatever. Says, good Street Fighter players. But the fact that you'd have two guys who've been in, in, ingrained in this stupid internet drama for over a decade playing each other during EVA weekend, that's hype. That would get people excited. Like I said, literally, if it's Evo Qualls going on and we were doing it, people would say, fuck the Qualls and open their phones and watch our grudge match. First of all, no. Second of all, there might still be one or two people who played back in 2004, 2005 time when you were playing. But nowadays, do you think Sonic Fox was playing back in 2004, 2005? No. The people who are going to Evo weren't playing FGC when he was because they're probably still little kids. At least the majority of them were anyways. Also, let's say someone at Evil was like, hey, remember who Darkseid Phil is? Oh, the guy who masturbated in front of a bunch of children? Yeah, that guy. You will always be known as that guy. But this guy doesn't get it. He lives in his own fucking world, his own bubble. He doesn't get that no one cares about his looks. He actually thinks people do. He Lots of people care about their looks. Lots of people care about other people's looks. If you're going for a job interview, do you want to look homeless? Or do you want to look like you got yourself put together? If you're going on a date, do you want to look put together or do you want to look like DSP? If you're a streamer, you're going to be on camera in front of, hopefully, thousands of people. Do you want to look like DSP? Or do you want to look good? He doesn't understand the reality of who he is and, you know, what's going on around him. That he could get some big hype around him if he would just stop being puss about it. No one cares about the Vazan match. No one. Because no one takes him seriously. On Twitch, LTG has over, what, 3,000 subs? Now that's probably a lot of those are prime subs. Free subs. But he still gets paid for those. As a fighting game player. No one takes me seriously either. So just do he gets those without crying and begging all the time like DSP did when he was on Twitch. Do the fucking match and have some fun and get hype around it, you know? No. No. No, we're not going to do that. This well, he will as long as he gives him $5,000. Just saying. This is hilarious. Gublino says he apparently makes more money than you. I will absolutely positively guarantee you he does not make more money than me. <laughs> That's fucking ludicrous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Even with all those paid subs that he claims that he gets on Twitch and shit. Sorry. Bull LTG, as far as I know, has never declared bankruptcy. Unlike DSP. LTG, over on Twitch, gets those free Prime subs that still pay him. Even though the person's not paying for them. But again, minimum 3,000 times 2. Hey, there's 6,000. Actually, I think it's like 250 per sub. He's actually making over $7,000 just with the subs. That's not counting bits. That's not counting PayPal. That's not counting ad, whatever site, ad revenue you get on Twitch. So it wouldn't surprise me if LTG is making roughly the same amount of money. Roughly ten to $12,000 a month. Every month. Now I would like to point out, there's no way he makes more money than me. Really? But again, he's never declared bankruptcy. He's never had to do, guys, I'm going to lose my house unless you give me $5,000 marathons. But you have. 
You have done multiple save the house dreams. You've done multiple pay my taxes or I lose my house. Guys, you don't want me to lose my house, do you? You've done that multiple times. He hasn't. So let's say you are making more money than him. Where is your money going? Especially since you no longer have credit cards. You got the house, HOA fees, regular bills, utilities, stuff like that. Your back taxes because you don't pay your taxes on time. And that's it. You got your car paid off back in July. That alone was $378. Gee, where's your money going to? All right. W. W E champions. And now, Street Fighter Duel. <clears throat> Just saying. That so let you guys go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.